Hello, my wonderful crafting friends. Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, stopping in to share a new craft here on the channel. Now I can hear you guys saying, Jessica, you really need a new craft like you need a hole in your head. That's exactly how you would say it. I know it. And it's true. You're absolutely right. But I don't know what to tell you. If you're here, I assume that crafts make you as happy as they make me. And so you understand. You're here because you get it. So today, we're going to be talking a little bit about crochet for the first time ever on the channel. Now, if you're not a crocheter, that's okay. I understand. But maybe you'll see something here today that will make you change your mind and decide maybe you are a crocheter. Or if not, maybe you just want to hang out and, and hear about how things are. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome! It's always great to have new faces here. We talk about diamond painting, paint by number, cross stitch, coloring, diamond... There's, there's so many crafts I can't even remember what I'm saying. We talk about diamond painting, cross stitch, paint by number, adult coloring, now crochet, even paper crafting on occasion. It's, it's a lot of crafts. You're in a crafting wonderland right now. If that sounds good to you, hang around. Now you guys might remember a couple weeks back in a whip and chat, I talked to you about being tempted by a crochet kit of the month club called Annie's Kit Club. They had a Moroccan tile afghan on there that I was pretty tempted by. And I felt like this might be an okay idea because I'm about to finish up my previous afghan project. This is the center medallion of something called the Tamer Throw. It's a pattern from Lion Brand. If it's still available, I'll stick a link in the description below. But I am down to the last four of these large motifs. I've done all the floral motifs that go around the outside edge here and even started combining some of those. I've done all of these kind of medium sized medallions and I've done all the small size medallions. So I'm really in kind of the final the final phases of this project. So I figured, because that's the case, I might be ready to embark on a new crochet project. Now, unlike cross stitch, unlike diamond painting, unlike coloring books, unlike paper crafting, unlike paint by number, I really tend to have one crochet project going at a time in the winter, especially when it can hang out on my lap while I watch movies. But I thought, it might be a perfect excuse to start on a new crochet project. So my kit has arrived. Today I wanna handle the video a little bit differently. I'm gonna give you this intro. I'm gonna show you what came in the kit and then I'm actually gonna start this first kit so that you guys can see how it goes. And then I'll give you some thoughts on it. So the kit came beautifully packaged in this very nice bubble mailer. I found a 50% off coupon for my first month's kit on another YouTube channel. I will put in the name of the channel and some information below in case you would like to support that channel. I'm not affiliated with Annie's Kit Clubs in any regard, so this is an unaffiliated review. So here's what came in my first package. This is the Moroccan Tile Afghan Club in colorway floating lanterns. So this is one option of the colorway that you can do this afghan in. There is also more of a, it's the exact same design with a, an off-white in the background. Both are beautiful and it was really, really hard to decide. I tend to gravitate toward more royal color palettes and so I thought I might give this one a try. This came with five really pretty colors of yarn for the first kit. Ooh, it's very soft, very soft, anti-pilling, everyday worsted. Like new, wash after wash, a 90 yard skein. It is a medium weight yarn in color, Rococo Rose, Peach Sand. Why is it taking me a long time to find each one? Cerulean, Indigo, and cream so those are the five yarns that came in this and then there is a packet with the directions um now of course i'm not going to show you the directions because i want to be legit about this but this does say skill level two of four easy which i was hoping would be pretty easy for me with my past crochet experience i'll let you know I have done quite a bit of crochet over the years. If you're brand new to crochet, there were a couple of 
like sampler style afghans that probably would be a little bit easier than this one even. So if you're brand new, that might be something to check out. But I honestly think that with all of Annie's resources, like there are videos out the wazoo for this, it looked like, with directions and kind of step-by-step -step guides. I feel like learning on a kit that you are really, really in love with is the way to learn any skill. That's kind of what the directions look like. The actual pattern is on the other side. But here is what our first Kit one is going to create kind of this central medallion. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this baby. This is not gonna be a tutorial on how to do this kit. Honestly, when you sign up for Nanny's kit, like I said, there are tons of resources to help you out. But I do wanna show you what this first central medallion looks like, how it turns out, and kind of my reflections on my first experience with Annie's. While I was sitting here with my good light set up and everything, I went ahead and took a very important step and that is crocheting my gauge swatch. So in this pattern, it says 12 single crochet equals four inches and three single crochet rows equals one inch. So I've gone ahead and done that number of stitches and rows and everything checks out just fine with the recommended hook size. Now, this kit does not come with a hook, so it says you'll need a size I, nine, 5.5 millimeter hook. So you might wanna know that as well. I'm gonna sit here and work for a little while and just see how far we get today. Hey guys, where the heck am I, you might ask? Well, I'm sitting in my office working on this project a little bit while the house is quiet sitting here watching cross stitch with luda shout out to luda love her channel I'm sitting in here zenning out a little bit with all my with all my buddies <laughs> my mom got these tapestries when she was a foreign exchange student in nepal so they have kind of a good history i think i have made it through the first five and a half rounds of this bad boy I actually had to stitch the first three rounds twice because my gauge was off. Even though I did do a gauge swatch, I had to switch to a smaller hook to get the gauge that the pattern recommended. But I think this is turning out really pretty. I am grateful to have the video instructions because while I have done all of these stitches before, it has been a little while and I think it was helpful to be reminded how to do color changes and how to do some stitches like the back loop stitches in this indigo row right here, which I know I have done, but I'm pretty sure I've been doing them wrong all along. So, so that was really handy. So, so far so good. I really like the yarns. They're very soft. I am having to stitch much tighter than I normally would. I must be a very loose crocheter, but that's my progress so far. Hey guys, here I am sitting at my virtual conference crocheting, which is lovely. I have made it all the way through round 13 and I'm starting on round 14 out of 17 rounds on this. So I'm just about done. This has taken me only about this is the third day of work. The yarn is lovely. I really, really like it. The only issue that I've had at all is that it's a little bit easy to split, so you kind of have to watch out and make sure that all of the twists of the yarn are going in the right direction when you put your hook through. But other than that, I think this is absolutely beautiful. It's quite easy with the video explanation. I would not say that this is a perfect beginner project. I would say it's probably a little bit better late beginner project slash early intermediate project, but it is definitely going to be an heirloom project when it's all finished. So I'm gonna finish up the last couple rounds of this. I'll pop back with my full thoughts and I'll give you the full reveal on month one of Annie's crochet kit club Moroccan tile afghan. Okay guys, here we have it. I have finished up all 17 rows of month one. I think this turned out really pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited 
by my own work on it. Now, I am not a professional crocheter, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I do have some experience with crochet, but I definitely made use of the tutorial videos. I must say the tutorial videos are extremely well done. They're easy to follow. And in combination with the directions especially, I found this a really achievable thing to do. This took me about four evenings of work, maybe a total of six hours at the most, I wanna say, just guesstimating. I would not say that this is a beginner, beginner project. Like I said in another little segment there, this is definitely more of an intermediate project, I would say, but very doable for someone with some experience in crochet if you utilize those videos and the written directions and rely on both of those things. So here are the yarns that I have left. I was really careful to measure the gauge, just as they mentioned in the directions and in the videos. That is super important, and I did have to go down and gauge like I mentioned. You don't wanna run out of yarn, and one thing that could happen if you make your piece way too large is that you won't have enough yarn to complete it. And so just bear that in mind. Also bear in mind that you want to carefully count the stitches on each round just to make sure that you have the correct number of stitches along the edges on each row. With that, I'm gonna leave you guys here. This is month one. I'll keep you posted on my subsequent work on this. I'm gonna go ahead and weave in my ends at this point and I think I'm gonna put the Tiny Worlds of Wonder stamp of approval for sure on this monthly kit club. The yarn is beautiful, the experience was fun, and Annie's has really done a great job with their website, the directions, the professionalism of the videos. That was all fantastic. So definitely excited about this project. I really think this was worth my money and I'm excited to continue on the journey. If you guys have questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. I'm not a professional crocheter, as I said, but I'm happy to help you out if I can. I hope you have a wonderful week. As always, spread some joy wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.